Some bad actors are using COVID-19 to try and rip you off. Call for Action Problem Solver Carice Jackman reports on contact tracer scams and what signs you should look out for so you're not fooled. If you're on Facebook, you probably see copy and paste posts all the time, but this one stood out to us. This woman says she got a call from someone saying she's likely been in close proximity to a person who's tested positive for COVID-19. The person then asked for her address and credit card info so she can pay for testing. If you get a call like this, beware. It's a phony um, identity theft scam or potentially charging you for a fee that you simply don't need to pay. Robin Householder, president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau with Middle Tennessee, says now is the perfect opportunity for COVID-19 scammers. Legitimate organizations that provide that service are not soliciting you. And so be careful for anything you receive on contract tracing that's unsolicited. The Federal Trade Commission also wants to sound the alarm. They say if you notice text messages like this one, don't believe it. The FTC says clicking on the link will download software onto your device, giving scammers access to your information. Ignore and delete them. So how can you tell if a contact tracer is real? Number one, contact tracers will ask you to confirm your identity, but not for your financial information. Number two, they will identify themselves. The call should start with a tracer providing their name as calling from the Department of Health or another official team. Number three, contact tracing is normally done by phone. Be wary of social media messages or text messages. And number four, a real contact tracer will never reveal the identity of the person who tested positive. If they provide a person's name, you know it's a scam. Another tip, double check the URL. Make sure it ends in .gov and nothing else. And also, if you're in doubt, make sure you do a check, a separate internet search for that website. I'm Call for Action Problem Solver, Carice Jackman, News 4 Nashville.